I hated the police. The police was, was another element of my enemy. It, hate is an understatement. They pull me over, I'm having nasty attitudes. The officers will tell you they self that, you know, yo, I am a correctional officer and you as an inmate. There's lines that we're not finna cross. I'm not your friend, and we had that same understanding about them. My brother was three years older than me, and uh, based off his rap sheet, he was, he always got pulled over for pistols, and uh, he went to jail when he was 18, and uh, he did five years, and uh, he was out two weeks. I'm in the car with him, and he gets pulled over. The cop just comes to the car aggressively, so he pulls my brother out the car, he searches the car, trashes the car, he doesn't find anything. So they let us go, supposedly. I get in the passenger seat, my brother's on his way to the car. They're going back and forth, arguing, arguing. And um, as I turn around, I will never forget, it was a, a cop and shoots my brother three times in the back. I grew um, a lot of hatred and anger towards cops. Cause I felt like they took my brother away. That put me even deeper in the gangs, deeper in the streets. You know, they never gave him a chance to try to turn aside for him. I think the problems that we're facing today is the lack of respect for people. We have to treat everybody, no matter where they come from in life, the same. They are no different than you, that officer that puts on that uniform every day and give, give, gives your life. I don't hear a lot of officers say that they love the people they deal with or they work with. And I think that's part of it too. I mean, you know, we got to let down all this, you know, we're up here and they're down here and just keep it equal. You know what I mean? Just because you never been to prison don't mean you can't understand. So my probation officer told me to go to the workshop. That week changed my life mentally. For the first time ever, I shook uh, Detective BJ. I shook his hand. And, uh, when I shook his hand, my whole body was just shaking. Officer BJ, he put his arms around me and put my head into his chest and held me like I was, like I was his child. And uh, oh, yeah, I, I had a police officer cried with me. He actually shed tears. It just took all of that anger, hatred, like a dark cloud just went away and the sun shined on me. Listening to their story and, and you know what they go through and uh, us as people who rebel against the police don't realize that they have a tough job as well. You know, even what's going on in the world today, I think we all have to look at it as a whole and you know, not all cops are the same you have, but you have those ones who mess it up for everybody. You know, some are really there to help out. And uh, I just think that my brother ran across that battle. And uh, if it wasn't for him, I, I probably still be here. But um, I, for, I forgave that officer. I had to let her go. We need to build relationships, even if we got to start from scratch. The way we community policed back in the day, it wasn't working. We got to come from a different angle. This angle that we thought worked doesn't work. Let's rewrite the books. I became a mentor two years ago with Hope for Prisoners. You know, John, he mentors us. <laughs> That's the difference. You know, John makes us feel like we're welcome. So our lives are transforming too as a police agency. I mean, truly. And I think if other departments saw this, they would learn what community policing is all about. Really caring about the community in a way that comes from here. Not just, you know, what's, what's supposed to be community policing. This is community policing at its finest. To know that there's a team that's for us gives me more hope that when I actually go to another level, there's just a team, there's no way I can fail. If I fail, it's because I don't, don't want to succeed. When you don't have any, anybody that really believes that you're gonna change, I have family and it's like, my parents, they do their own thing. They're not worried about what I'm doing. So it's different to have somebody that actually wants to see good come up out of you. 
I never saw myself at this stage that I'm at at life. I'm off parole, I'm drug free, haven't committed no crimes. This is the longest I had a job. When I'm at a traffic light and the police is right next to me, I can wave at them. Instead of getting ready to punch the gas paddle, you know what I'm saying? I could wave at them, how you doing today, officer? Y'all be safe out here. That makes me feel good that I'm able in a position to be able to communicate with law enforcement like that. Not all these police is my enemy, you know what I'm saying? And I shouldn't look at all of them in that manner. You know what I'm saying? They're dealing with a lot of crazy stuff out here. And when I sit back and observe on what they're dealing with, I do show empathy.